Here is my Seaside Wishes beachy box that I created as my 3D swap for the recent Mexico Stampin' Up! incentive trip. And I wanted to share with you how I created it. So we're going to start with a boho blue piece of 10 and a half by 5 and a half cardstock. And I have this template that I'm going to use to score it, but first we need to stamp it. So it's better to stamp this first so we get nice, crisp, clean, clear images rather than having to stamp on score lines and then the image is kind of distorted where you stamp on the score line. So I'm going to start with the largest sand dollar in Night of Navy. And I'm just going to stamp this randomly all over the cardstock and I'm going to leave some room for the other sand dollar and other elements that I'm going to stamp and let's turn it this way definitely need a scrap piece of paper underneath and then let's do one more down here now we're going to stamp the smaller sand dollar in boho blue and just in the areas that we didn't fill in. And then let's do here, maybe one more here, and then one right there, and there. Just try to fill it all in. And then last of all, we'll do the starfish and a little bit of splatter. I love doing splatter. Stamp it. I might even try doing some regular splatter. Right now I can score this according to my template. So I'm gonna start with the horizontal scoring. So I'm gonna do one and a half, five, six and a half, and 10. So one and a half, five, six and a half, and then 10, leaving us a half inch for our tab. And then I'm going to rotate it and we'll do one and a half again. Since the sides are one and a half, the bottom needs to be one and a half to match. And then let's do three and three quarters and four and three quarters. Now we just have to do a little bit of hand special scoring, um, but we can uh, cheat a little bit and do start the half here. So here's uh, three quarters right there. And then let's see. Uh, one, two, three. So that's going to be three quarters right there. And I'm doing this on um, the side pieces. So these are the side pieces right here or the sides of the box. So now I'm just going to take a ruler and where I scored right here, I'm going to line this up with the corner and score down to the corner on both sides. And this is going to allow me to pinch the top of the box. So again, find the center line that I scored and just use uh, any straight edge ruler to make these score lines. Right now we're gonna fold on all the score lines. So we're gonna fold the top back and then all the other score lines we're gonna fold in. And I'm just gonna use the bone folder to make nice sharp creases. And then we'll do a little bit of trimming on the bottom. Let's see this one, and then this one. Okay. All right, now we are going to trim here and trim this little piece off down here. So we'll start with this piece here. And I'm doing it at a bit of an angle and that will give me some wiggle room when I'm putting the box together. So I like to do these at a bit of an angle. So I'm making a very tall isosceles triangle. A 
All right, now I've got everything scored and cut. I'm going to use some tear and tape to put the box together. So I'm gonna start with the long tab right here. I'll just go ahead and put that on. And then I'm going to remove the backing and I'm just gonna fold it. And then I'm just gonna fold this down and it should line up perfectly. Now I'm going to tuck the sides in and I'm gonna take a look at my box. And these two are the nice folded edges. So I'm gonna fold this back last. So I'm gonna go ahead and lay this down and I'm gonna put just two small pieces of tape on the back flap. And the reason why is because the two sides don't meet, so I don't want any adhesive here that might stick to anything that I put in the box. Now I'm just gonna use my bone folder to push down and make sure everything adheres. And then this last flap is going to get adhesive all the way along the edge. And if any bit of it, if, uh, if any bit of adhesive is hanging over, I'm just gonna fold it back in on itself. And then I'm gonna use the bone folder again to press right there. And then we have the bottom of our box. Okay, so this is the front. So now we're gonna do the pinching. We're gonna pinch the top. And because we scored those diagonal score lines, it's gonna come together really nicely. And then now I'm gonna use a handheld punch to punch some holes for our twine to go through. And I'm being careful to only punch through the two pieces of cardstock and not the sides. So four pieces of cardstock, because that will be harder. And it's much nicer to just punch through the two pieces. Now I need to stuff this thing with some candy. I've chosen some Lindor strawberry chocolates. Very yummy. I haven't tried them yet, so I need to try them out. But let's go ahead and stuff as many as we can in here. I think that should be good. And that's good because it leaves a little bit for myself. And then I have some leftover twine here from a paper pumpkin kit. And I like it because it's nice and thick. So I'm gonna cut some off and then I'm gonna thread some through. I'm gonna make sure I'm threading from front to back and then back to front and I'll tie a knot. So we'll tie a nice little knot in the front and then I'm just gonna tie it again so that I can tie a nice bow. And if you can borrow somebody's finger, that would be probably helpful. I think it goes this way. And then tie our little bow. This one's gonna be a little bit smaller than the others, but I think it will still work nicely. So I'm just trying to fiddle fiddle with it here. We can trim part of this off. And I don't know why it's sideways. There we go. Okay, so now we're gonna do the front of the box. So in order to do that, so this is the Seaside Wishes bundle, the stamp set, the dies, and the embossing folder. The dies include this die right here that you can fit inside the embossing folder. And then you can place your paper inside like this and close it up. And you'll run it through your machine and it will cut out the sand dollars while embossing them. So it's really, really cool. But we're gonna add a little second step to this. So I'm just gonna put this back on. I'm gonna take this paper out. All right, I'm gonna try one of these little strawberry Lindor chocolates. It looks like it's white chocolate before we move on. Mm. Very strawberry, very good. I recommend it. So I've already cut out a piece of Night of Navy using the embossing folder and die. I used a darker color to more easily stamp the images inside. 
So I'm using it as a mask. And I'm lining it up with the curve right here. That tells me where to put it. So about right there. And I'm just going to hold it for a little bit. Make sure all the color gets on there. Very nice. And then we'll do the small one. And the small one has like a little bump right there that I'm going to line up and it's kind of flat. So I'm just going to line that up right there. And then there is no stamp for this one. So we're just going to um, run it through, cut it out and emboss it. So you're going to have your die inside your embossing folder. You're going to place your piece of paper that you've stamped. You're going to flip it over and you're going to move your paper to line it up with the die. So make sure that the die doesn't move. You can hold the die and then kind of move the paper a little more easily. Okay, you're gonna fold that up and you're gonna run it through the machine and it's going to cut out and it's going to give you these three pieces right here. And so we can put those on our box using dimensionals. I'm gonna flip all of these over. Let's see, yep, yep, yep. All right, we're gonna place this one on here. I'm gonna go this way. And then this one, I'm just gonna put a little bit of adhesive on the one side and then uh, a dimensional on the other side. So it's at the same level as this one because I'm going to put this one on top, kind of over on the side here. So I make room for our sentiment. So to cut this out, I've used the unbounded dies. They have all kinds of fun labels. So you actually get two pieces when you use this die. You get the smaller piece and then you get this frame. So I'm gonna use this frame for another card and just use this for now. And I'm going to stamp the sentiment towards the bottom. Actually not yeah, towards the bottom. And I'm gonna add some dimensionals. And then I'm just gonna add this over here to the top. I'm gonna tilt it a little bit just for fun. And then I've already stamped and cut out one of the starfish. So I will attach it to the top of my label using glue dot. Last of all, I'm gonna add some of these really pretty adhesive backed pearls. I'm gonna add one like over here and then let's do one down here and then we'll add this one up here and that is my seaside wishes beachy box i hope you enjoyed watching please remember to subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos